Deputy uh, Eric Oliver wrapped up. The Nassau County Sheriff's deputy was struck and killed by an SUV Tuesday morning as he chased an undocumented worker across a highway. The 32-year-old and another deputy, they were helping a Border Patrol agent who had detained six people at the Gate gas station when one of the men they were looking into took off. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum is joining us now live from Oxley Heard Funeral Home in Fernandina Beach. Ashley. And it did just wrap up just a few minutes ago, Kent, and there's still a lot of people here up at the funeral home uh, talking and reminiscing and, of course, remembering Deputy Eric Oliver and people that we spoke to. And there were hundreds of people here, by the way, but people that we spoke to and kind of caught on the street and were willing to speak to us had nothing but wonderful things to say about him. Very family oriented, wonderful father, and um, this has all caught all of us. Um, it's shocked all of us in the community. Jennifer Kelly is just one of the many people who showed up Friday to honor the life of Deputy Eric Oliver. Those who we spoke to said that Oliver died doing what he loved and lived a life dedicated to protecting his country. Well, naturally, uh, everybody's hurt, uh, upset, and, uh, and, and it feels a sense of loss, uh, which is natural. Uh, but it's, it's part of the job we do every day. There's no expectations we'll get back home once we leave. And I'm just part of the job, and uh, uh, we, we accept that and it takes a special person to do that. Oliver leaves behind a six-year-old daughter. He joined the sheriff's office in 2009 after serving five years in the U.S. Navy. The flag outside the Nassau County Sheriff's Office is flying at half staff, just feet above a memorial surrounding Oliver's patrol car, which has become a growing memorial with wreaths, flowers, balloons, and photos. Well, this is a tragedy you never want to see happen, um, but when it does, uh, the first responder community comes together because we're all a family. We all work together every day. And um, when one passes away, it tears a lot of us apart. So um, it's time for us to come together uh, and heal the wounds and, um, and carry on. Deputy Oliver will be laid to rest tomorrow at 11 o'clock and family and friends are doing the best they can to come together right now and be here for each other. One man that we spoke to and you'll hear from at six o'clock, he actually lost his son in the line of duty. His son worked for JSO, so he shared with us some of his thoughts and feelings and how he's reaching out to the family. I'm live in Fernandina Beach, Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station.